folks. Seems like a lot of you look for hybrid classical guitars. And I know Cordova makes them and other companies make them. I ran across this guitar. This is a Manuel Rodriguez C10 CW, CW. So it's one of the Caballero series. I'd like to see one I showed you uh, a few weeks back. Let me come closer to you. Uh, however, uh, this is a cutaway cedar top with a walnut back and sides. Pretty, very, very nice figured walnut. And it has the um, probably the nicest Fishman system in the uh, Precis system, uh, which has an onboard tuner phase mic blend notch, uh, three EQ band. Um, really good. I'm not going to plug it in for you, but. Actually, it's taking me a bit of getting used to because the neck is so narrow. It's such a slim profile. It really is um, an acoustic guitar profile neck, uh, but it's nylon string, so you kind of have to get used to different spacing. And these are becoming very popular. Lots of people are looking for them. Uh, so I just thought I'd put this on your uh, radar. This also has a beautiful heel on it, if I can show you that. Uh, Venetian heel I think that's called uh, and then of course uh, you have a lovely ingrained wood rosette and a different shaped bridge notice how that's longer than a normal classical bridge uh, still a tie bar bridge but it's a different design different look and this has an ebony neck uh, sorry ebony fretboard slotted headstock as traditional with guitars with the MR on there um, these probably go somewhere around a thousand dollars new you can pick them up used anywhere from five to seven hundred I would think but they just sound dreamy really excellent guitars um, if you're looking for that slimmer profile acoustic profile um, fretboard uh, and it comes with the side dots uh, really nice mahogany neck uh, Super tuners. I think they're actually uh, um, silver plated with the poiloid caps, and the, and the frets are also uh, silver plated. Uh, and this needed a bit of cleanup, but I've got it really purring now. It sounds very uh, clean. And you can do your your growl on it. You know, so it's a it's a very um, utilitarian guitar. You can do lots of different styles on it. Uh, it's got a nice um, single jack there in the end. Uh, no frills, no mess. Very clean pickup, very clean sounding uh, uh, amplified sound. Lovely, uh, I think it's maple binding all the way throughout this. Um, the edges are maple bound with the black and white traditional black purfling. So attention to detail on this is superb. It's slightly thinner profile too, so it's easy to hold. Um, it's just a super guitar, a really nice guitar. I just wanted to uh, do a video on it because I know as soon as I list this, it's going to be gone. Um, and I would think about keeping this, but the actually when I pick up a nylon string guitar, I actually like the traditional spacing um, neck profile. When I pick up an acoustic guitar, I like an acoustic profile. I don't like, uh, these nylon strings for me feel too close together. So this one's not for me, I'm gonna let it go, but I just wanted to tell you about it because it really is a beautiful guitar. Uh, solid cedar top, walnut back and sides, all maple bound, great electronics. And of course, this is a Spanish maker. Um, Manuel Rodriguez is a, um, uh, of those are made in Spain. I think Madrid, no Toledo, um, although I'm not sure if this one is made in Spain or not, I don't see anything in there to indicate. It just says uh, Manuel Rodrigo Hijos Luthiers 1905 Madrid and Toledo, so it is Madrid as well. And you have his signature and a nice picture of him holding a guitar. Uh, really nice guitar. So this is the Manuel Rodriguez C. 10, the Caballero Series 10 CW for cutaway with electronics. All right, see you next time.